So in a recent podcast that Ryan Garcia did with Patrick but David, they talked about a lot of interesting stuff and they also touched on the topic of Andrew Tate and Ryan Garcia went in and talked about how he doesn't agree with what Andrew Tate had to say about Christianity and I think he brings up a very very interesting point and you know I very very much like Ryan Garcia for all of that he's doing and has done. You know I am a very big fan and I really want to hear what you guys have to say about this as well. But yeah guys if you are new to the channel be sure to subscribe with notifications right now. But yeah just check out this video I think he brings a very very interesting point. How's your relationship with with Tate. I like Tate. Tate's a cool guy. Um, me and him been uh we've been friends now for some time. I mean, I haven't met him yet in person, but I like that he's a truth like seeker. He likes to seek the truth, and he seems uh like a cool individual to be around with. I just didn't necessarily like what he says about Christianity. I think that his view is false. I think he has a bad interpretation on what you know, what means, you know, it's a real religion or not. You know, he said, hey, everybody disrespects Christianity. Everybody runs over Christianity, blah, blah, blah. And that's why it's not the true religion. At the end of the day, you know, being a Christian is not about religion. It's about having a relationship. And then I'm going to piggyback off what he said. So if everybody, and it says in the Bible that you're going to be persecuted for saying Jesus' name. So don't you think everybody's going to make fun of Jesus? And then on top of it, if somebody disrespects the law, does that make it any less than the law? So if I say, hey, red lights are stupid, they're dumb, and I make memes about red lights. If I run a red light, I'm still going to get a ticket. So what you're saying makes no fucking sense, Andrew. And I like you. You're cool. But it makes no sense. I mean, think about it, bro. You can't say because people are making fun of Christianity that it's soft and it's not a real religion and... You know, you can't you can't believe in Christ because people are making fun of it. That makes so ne so sense. So if I made fun of you and we made a fool out of you, should nobody believe what you say? Come on. So he didn't make sense there. But other than that, he's a pretty cool dude. And you guys have never hung out? No, never. I know you guys did a, uh, uh, I think you did a uh, Twitter space together, right? X space. Oh, when, yeah, yeah. When I think you were talking about. Uh, Bohemian uh, Grove. Was it the Bohemian Grove? Yeah, or? yeah it was the Bohemian Grove one. And they tied me down and they made me watch. Watch. I hear this all day. Hey, bro. All right, talk to us. No, bro, man. I don't give a fuck, fuck bro. Man. They held me down and they made me watch, watch the little kids get raped. Rape. I don't give a fuck, fuck anymore. anymore. Where? <laughs> Where? <laughs> Gotta love Tate. Yeah, Where? Tate, bro, they and then he goes, you know, this is a dangerous road you're on. in the woods, bro, and they fucking tie. I'm not fucking joking, bro. I have fucking proof, bro. I don't give a fuck. Bro, I fucking will show you every fucking video you can there ever is some fucking really believe. Bohemian Grove is you can real. Pause let me let me ask you: Do you think your approach your approach you took helped you sell more tickets, pay per view, or hurt pay per view? I don't know. I know it brought more eyes to it from the casual fans. I don't know if it hurt pay per view tickets. We're gonna find out real soon. But um, I'm projected to make around thirty to fifty million. So that's from good. the fight. Yeah. Uh, have they released the numbers yet or not? No, yet? but Oscar said they're very good. Oscar very said they're very good. good. Yeah. Okay, good. How's your relationship with Oscar now? Me and him are like this. I saw that. He's That's just, good. Yeah, me and him are like this. So what happened? Now, you can tell that these guys have very, very much respect for each other, which, you know, is very, very nice. And listening back to what Ryan Garcia said, I genuinely think he is right here because, you know, Andrew Tate's message all around is very, very much tough love. And he's basically trying to do the same with Christians. And I think both of these guys have a point because at the end of the day, they're both trying to save Christianity. They're both trying to save people and bring them to God even more. So I think both of these guys have a point and there's much respect between each other which i very very much like but yeah guys give me your thoughts on this in the comments below be sure to click one of the videos on the screen right now that's it and i'm out